Dr. Jordan. In direct from his dance psychology lab, Dr. Peter Lovett. And welcome to Dance Dr. Dance, the psychology of dance show. Tell us about your, your name, Dr. Dance. I mean, it sounds like a joke. It does. Are, are you a joke? Uh, well, I hope not. No, no. <laughs> I'm a real doctor, okay. and um, I study the psychology of dance. And so those two things put together means that I really am a legitimate doctor of dance. I, I study the psychology of dancing and the science wow. of dance. Brilliant job. <laughs> it is. No, it's a dream <laughs> job. You see, I was a, pr a professional dancer um, before I became a doctor. Okay. And so that gives me the credibility in that line. And then I trained then um, as a psychologist, which is great. And then I was very, very lucky to be able to combine those two things together. And now I've got a dance psychology lab which is packed full of people carrying out research into the psychology of dance. Now would you imagine, imagine this, okay, imagine, there's somebody in front of you who you absolutely adore. The person that walks into the room and you're in love with that person. Oh, my heart's going. So tell me about this um, show, the one you've got in Edinburgh. Well, it's called the Dance Not to Dance, the psychology of dance show. And what it really is, it's a very interactive show. So we want to tell people about the fantastic stuff about the science of dance. Um, so when we talk about dance and thinking, and we talk about dance and emotions, we talk about dance and hormones, and finally we talk about dance and happiness. What we do, you see, is think, to get all that information across, we think it's best that people learn and enjoy themselves. So we get the audience dancing right way through the show. And the first thing they'll do in the first couple of minutes, they'll, they'll teach them a little dance routine as they're sat in the seats. With your right hand, we go slap, clap, it could be you, it could be you. <laughs> they haven't got a, they need no dance experience at all before they come. And it doesn't matter if they dance or they don't dance, they can simply come and watch if they want, that's fine as well. But if they want to have a dance, I'll teach them a dance. And the first thing I'm going to teach them is this dance which talks about the relationship between dancing and thinking. And what we've found in our lab is that when you dance in a particular way, it helps you to solve certain types of problems and certain types of puzzles. So the relationship between dancing and problem solving is really very interesting. And we know that there's one sort of dancing you can do which helps you solve one type of puzzle and a different sort of dancing you can do to help you solve a different type of puzzle. And we'll cover all that in the show. Wow, so if I have any kind of problem, if I mm -hmm. dance, I could solve it. Uh, you, well, pretty much, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you, you probably could. We've done a lot of work now looking at the way that men dance. Um, and what, what makes an attractive or less attractive male form of dancing. And what we find is that there's certain patterns of movement that men do, which are either find attractive or not attractive. Is this yes or no? No, no it's not very attractive. Is it? It's small and simple movements. Women don't like small and simple movements, particularly in a man's dancing. Some people are very kind of comfortable dancing, and they can, use, they can express dance in a very easy way. And other people, and particularly men, not always, not all men, I must say, but you know, more men than women find dance quite difficult, and they have lots of kind of blocks to dancing and barriers to dancing. So for those people, they've got these these perhaps psychological blocks which prevent them dancing. Um, so for them, it isn't quite so useful until we take away those blocks. And once we can take away those blocks from people, then of course it opens up the potential to, for dance to help them solve all kinds of cognitive problems. So there is a cure for two left feet. Oh, there's. Oh, there certainly is a cure for two left feet, absolutely. I mean, what, what we often find in our lab is men come in, typically men come in saying they've got two left feet. Or very often we've got women writing in saying that their man has two left feet. Oh, really? And, oh yeah, they, they come in. And then, then the men come in, and what we often find is they feel very self-conscious. Um, they, they, they feel a bit inhibited about moving. Uh, they don't quite know what to do. So rather than actually being them having two left feet in a physical sense, you know, them not being able to dance, is they've got all these psychological barriers to dancing. And so what we do, we strip away those psychological barriers. And we can do that fairly quickly. And then once we've got rid of those, we can then start to do some movement with people. And then we often find then that people don't have two left feet at all. They've got a fantastic left and a fantastic right. <laughs> Balanced dancers. Dance is a natural form of expression. There's no right and wrong. You know, go to a disco. There's no right and wrong about what you're doing. It's just about enjoying yourself and getting rid of that tension and expressing yourself. And then it can't be wrong. And so therefore men can't get that wrong. And therefore they can get it right and enjoy themselves. And are, um, so people coming to your show, are they going to experience that live? Oh, very much so, very much so. We, we, we try to encourage all kind of people to dance. And we go through the four elements of the psychology of dance in the show. 
And when people look at all those four elements, they can use those very much um, and put it into practice immediately. When's it on? It's on from the 6th of August, right over through to the 28th of August. Mm -hmm. We're doing it every night at 6.50 in the Bedlam Theatre at the Edinburgh Festival. Lovely. Thank you very much, Peter. Nice to meet you. And hopefully we'll be, we'll be having some more blogs from you. Yes, no, I look forward uh, to that. Regularly, too. So, cheers. Okay. Good luck. Thank you.